morning welcome back to another episode in this episode we are taking you to a place we've been wanting to go to for a long long time where are we off to daniel we're going to fraser Fraser. <laughs> we're going to fraser island so no doggies on board because it's a national park um we're aiming for six nights roughly a couple of nights in the truck, a couple of nights in a resort, and then a couple more nights in the truck. We'll see how it goes. Obviously, weather's gonna play a part of that as well, and we are super flexible, so we are gonna go with the flow. Well, we don't have any plans. Like, we haven't, we're almost at Rainbow Beach. We haven't booked the barge. We haven't booked any campsites. We haven't booked the resort. We haven't packed the truck yet. <laughs> so, we're gonna have to make some plans, I think. We, when we get to Rainbow Beach. Yeah. We are going to, um, it's only like 8.30 or something, yeah. We're aiming to be on the barge at 12ish, so we've got about three hours to actually make our plan if for free. The if there's a spot on the barge, um, we'll, we'll go with wherever there's a spot really and make the plans around that and uh, we'll spend the time organising our life and making some plans for Fraser Island. <clears throat> we have our must-dos on there, it's just organising when and where and how and all that sort of stuff. So. We're going to have a busy morning this morning once we get into a bit more reception. But we're on the way to Rainbow Beach. Sorry about the windscreen. We drove at night last night, so there's lots of bugs. Several hours later, <laughs> we've sorted our lives out and booked some things. And now we're on our way to Inskip Point to uh, catch the ferry. So. <laughs> I want to thought I'd let you know that we, um, instead of doing Harvey Bay, we've done Rainbow Beach. Um, the big four was ten dollars a night just all the caravan, no, or oh, yeah, yeah. or twenty five dollars for a week. So we just went twenty five dollars for the week. And Fraser Coast RV Park over in Fraser Coast RV Park over in Harvey Bay, they wanted twenty dollars a night to still eat caravan. Yeah. So and isn't the barge quicker? Yeah, and cheaper. Quicker and cheaper. Quicker and cheaper from here as well, so um, we've gone a bit, a bit stingy on this one. <laughs> Not really, we've just bargain hunted. So anyway, on the way to Fraser Island. To get the drone up as well. He's said a couple of people have lost their drones on the barge, so fingers crossed we uh, don't do that. <laughs>
we're on Fraser Island. That didn't really work because I wasn't holding the GoPro with my knees and flying the drone. Note to self, need a hold. This is a living. <laughs> Fraser Island. We just pulled up at the we just pulled up at the entrance to Dilly Beach. And I found a dingo. Aria? Yep, Aria, that's what dingoes look like. Do you see them over there? Oh my god. Yeah. You won't be able to see it on the GoPro, but can you grab my phone and something? It's dingo. <laughs> this is the entrance to Dilly Beach. And uh, Aria. They're what you stay away from, okay? That's why you don't wander away from us. Okay? It's coming. Yeah. So you stay away from them, okay? Yeah. Okay. That is coming to me. Yeah, Mum's gonna start freaking out if it gets too close. No, my friend. So here's Amanda up in the truck. Amanda's not a fan of dingoes. jump on and say where we're going. Oh, we yeah. have taken the Dilly Village Road um, exit and going <laughs> along the um, <laughs> going along the what was this road called? The um, Southern Lakes or something road. Yeah. And we're going to stop in at hopefully a couple of the um, lakes along the way and then we'll finish up at the Central Station campground for tonight. And I don't know why they've got a 10 kilometer per hour sign for this corner because you can't really go any faster anyway. <laughs> and we're bouncing! And we're bouncing! Oh, yeah, I'm bouncing. Amanda's turned to drive. Amanda's driving us to Lake Virabeen. Amanda's first obstacle. <laughs> I don't know, that first one after I got in was an obstacle. Yeah. <laughs> this is just a forward
tree's unreal. Yeah. We're heading down to Lake Birabeen. Sand is like pure white. Pardon? Mm. Yeah. Can I see those? Can I see those? Well. Wow. That's probably the nicest sand I've ever felt. I <laughs> know. Finest whitest sand. Well, I'm impressed. Lake Birabeen. That's unreal. Yeah. That sand is divine. It's so white and beautiful. White and powdery. And Aria, stop there, babe. The water's, the water's clear amazing. Eyes, yeah. yeah, perfect temperature. And nice. Definitely put it on your list. I know it's a bit out of the way, but it's a bit of an adventure to get here. Yeah. But man, it's so worth it. It's so worth it. It's I gorgeous. It. Yeah. Beautiful. Here we are at the Central Station campground. This is us. And we will set up. I thought I'd show you a bit of a quick, how quick it takes us to set up the truck. This is only our second time though, so still a little bit, yeah. But there's not much, we'll show you. There's not much set up to do. <laughs> Do you reckon, Amanda? Pretty nice spot. Pretty nice spot. Yeah. I agree. We love rainforest camping even more, which is pretty close to what this is. Rainforest and bush. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that bacon. luxury. <laughs> nice. Think about me. What are you up to, Ariel? Are you waiting? For breakfast. <laughs> yeah. My mum and daddy, I don't want to get up. <laughs> <laughs> We're very snuggled, aren't we? Yes. <laughs> they are. Yeah, the rain for us. Yeah. Very snuggled. <laughs> don't get that me in there. Oh, I want to the come, in, come in here and we'll take a photo then. <laughs> really not roughing it here. Bottle alone the coffee machine because we've got the weight and the space and the power, so why not? <laughs> so we're going from whole beans down to fresh espresso. <laughs> Hello. 
What are you guys having for breakfast? Some plum cake. <laughs> Don't have to yell at. <laughs> With banana and maple syrup. Mm -hmm. That sounds... Thanks to Aldi. Whoops. Sounds delicious. And for, thanks for Dad. <laughs> it's true. Oh, you know. <laughs> and Dad's having bacon egg roll and coffee. <laughs> All right. So our plan today: Lake Mackenzie, Mackenzie Jetty, Lake um, Mackenzie again, <laughs> Lake Mackenzie again, maybe. Um, we've got a bit of computer and internet work to do. Probably half an hour of that, so we'll do that over on the coast where we have we have reception. And then possibly you wrong if we have time or feel like it. Yeah, and we'll do you wrong this afternoon. Back to the little creek walk near the. Um, Central Station. Central Station campground, either that this afternoon or tomorrow morning. Yep. We'll see how we go. We'll see. Seeing what the day brings, but they're kind of what we want to do. Lake Mackenzie. It's pretty. Beautiful. It's nice. We're going to come back on a sunny day so I can do some landscape photography. I've scattered out a composition but I need the, uh, I think I need clear sun and less clouds to, um, which is so rare for us. <laughs> yeah, just to get um, less reflections on the water to get the colour of the water through. Yeah. yeah. It's awesome. It's really pretty. You can see why it's very popular. shrubbery bushy thing not even on a branch or anything just shrubby bush shrubby bush if I can speak um, and it's that of the Purana Hey guys, thought I might do a little bit about Fraser's Inland Roads. Now that we've been here a day or two, I think I'm qualified to give a bit of an opinion. I think I'll just get out of someone's way. So, Sandy, yes. Uh, bumpy, yes. It's the same one we saw earlier. Pardon? It's the same you we saw earlier. Is it? Yeah. Cool. Um, and then we'll show you, we just had to pull over for some people because the track's a two way track. So. Only one way, you know what I mean? Only room for one vehicle. Yeah, wide enough for one. Uh, yeah, so whenever you come across somebody, you have to find a little pullover place, um, which is good, that's fine. Uh, for me, we're running our tyres on 25 psi. That's since we, like, before in the skip point, we haven't changed them at all. 
uh, the, the roads are like firm sand, so if, like whatever you run for beach driving is fine. They're not like super soft and like you have any have issues with it. It's like it's very drivable. Um, the biggest problem is probably the the bumps and stuff in it, which slow you down a lot. In the blind corners, we can't see anyone. Is it coming? <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, I've, um, we've got a split gearbox in the daily 4x4, so we're running on the 1 to 1.3 ratio, and I've been running in like, first, second or third normally, so in our regular, on a regular gearbox that's like, we've been running about first and second, sometimes up to third. But yeah, the splits just give us a bit more leeway in those rev ranges, but we're not even in like high range four wheel drive we're just because it's a constant four wheel drive vehicle so we're just um, we just got the center diff lock on and cruising around uh, haven't had any issues haven't looked like getting stuck or anything at all not even once so yeah right tire pressures and just take the bumps slowly speed limit is 30 in, on the inland roads yeah 30 which i can understand why <laughs> Yeah, we haven't hit even 30 yet. Mm -hmm. It hasn't been a bit of road good enough to even hit 30. Yeah. Here's a good bump. Most of the big bumps are like tree roots, yeah. the really sharp ones. You gotta be careful for. Careful of. Um, so for all you truck drivers out there, for your off-road trucks, um, height's not been an issue for us. Uh, generally we've been fine. It's been one or two occasions we've had to be a little bit careful, but generally height's been okay. We are about 2.7 metres high uh, on Frozen. And with some of the smaller trucks, you're going to get pinstripes. Um, we're 2.3 wide, which is like the maximum it can be. As he puts me into a bush. Yeah. <laughs> there was like an actual pull off thing back there, you know. Well, too small. <laughs> anyway, I'll just give away this person. Uh, yeah, so we're the full width of a, that a truck can be, uh, and haven't had any issues except just been striping from stuff. We brought our mirrors in at one point. Yeah, so just because the canopy is wider than the mirrors. Um, and length, we're quite short. So if you're a bit longer, I still think you'll be fine. Yeah. Some of the really smaller, like much smaller traffic and less traffic trucks you might have a little bit of an issue with, but generally they get the tour buses all around here, so you'll yeah. be fine. Yeah. Anyway. Cool. Yeah. Do it. Do Fraser. If any of you know us, you should know that we like rainforests. <laughs> and big trees. And big trees. <laughs> There's a car coming. There's a car. Two cars. So we've stopped at Pyle Valley, which is look to me or to us it looks like similar to the red um red valley woods. valley of the redwoods mm. oh sorry was it redwood the redwood grove down in uh victoria yeah on the great ocean road always oh, yeah, oh, ways, yeah. yeah. they look exactly the same Alright, turn around. Then I turn this around. Who's our camera woman? Me. I'm the camera woman. Yeah? Yes. You like filming mummy and daddy? Yeah. I'm going to film you. The forest. <laughs> you waxed your underarms? Yep, sure did. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>
I think that's not the dinner. I think that is just a bush turkey. <laughs> Do you reckon? Yes, I reckon. <laughs> it's not a dingo? No. It was a dingo. So the sign says they are red satinate trees. And they were used for all sorts of construction in the early 1900s, I think it was. And it's also um, been um, presented, dedicated as the canopy of the Commonwealth Queen or something or other. I don't know, I read the sign and I've forgotten already. Um, only a few years ago, like three or so, 2018. So, um, it's a pretty special place. You kind of just drive through it, but you should really stop and have a little short walk around because it's really beautiful. We're back at the campground, Central Station campground. It's empty tonight. I don't know why. It's like four o'clock and it's empty, yeah. And oh, it's such an epic spot. Like, look at this next to me, there's trunks. Mossy trunks and logs. You're just camping among them. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Like, I've never seen anything like it to be able to camp at. Never seen, like, been able to camp inside, like, a mossy forest with huge trees and stuff. It's just epic. We've managed to find the, the walk. the best road on Fraser. <laughs> it's the only asphalt we've seen since the resort. Stay <laughs> uh, So we found the Woongalooba. I think <laughs> something. <laughs> I'll check that. Um, walk, which is from the Central Station day use area. We walked through from the campground um, through to it. And so we're going down to the creek here, which is meant to be absolutely beautiful. beautiful. Um, I'm going to say it's um, good for kids and stuff because it is wheelchair friendly. Um, so definitely a walk you can do with kids. I see the creek. It's beautiful. Very clear. That is so clear. Hey guys, I'm in Wungulba Creek on Fraser Island and it is spectacular. So you can't even see there's water running really, like over the sandy bottom, it's just so cool. Um, yeah. So I've got my tripod set up here. I'm using a circular polarizer and I'll show you what we're getting, what we're looking at. Oop. Here we go. So we're framing it with the creek in the center of the image. We've got these beautiful palms around. Um, yeah. It's going to be pretty spectacular, I think. Neil's down in the creek, Wangulba Creek, taking photos, and he just yells out to me, I found my vertical. And he, and I, he goes, but I had to dip my butt. <laughs> <laughs> so he got his bum wet trying to capture the photo. Ah, the sacrifices. This is also him making his way up this <laughs> very steep track. That's not a track. I got my hiking thongs on. And he's, he's got hiking thongs on with his bung ankle. Does it every time. Too lazy. We didn't even pack shoes to come to the freezer. <laughs> 
And he's made it. <laughs> Worth it, but hey. Yes, every now and again. <laughs> Our power. This is us off grid. We've got 85% battery level and we are cooking with induction. The top plugged in here on our new kitchen setup. This here that you can see normally is up here away. It comes with a little workbench. We've got our lights on so we can see what we're doing. Fridge right here. Fridge right here, and we've also got our angle in, in, in there. <laughs> you can't see because of all the bedding. <laughs> it's all flopped down at the moment. Um, the normally our so you normally have the angle as our freezer, but this trip we're using it as a fridge because we don't need that much freezer stuff uh, space, but we do need fridge space. So because oh. because basically I've got a cask wine in there. Daniel's got almost like what 20 ciders in there. Yeah. You know, so yeah. so um, it's hard to see me. There I am. Um, yeah, so I just thought I'd quickly show you like this is us doing our thing. So I started cooking dinner at like quarter past quarter past five, so almost half an hour ago on ninety one percent on ninety one percent battery, and we're only at eighty four now. So um, yeah. Love and life, not having to worry about wind or any of those things blowing out the butane things or barbecues. We're at, what were we at this morning? We were at like uh, we're at 73% when we started the day. Yeah. After yeah. yesterday's cook yeah. off and all that stuff, cooking in and. And there's been no solar today. Yeah, it's been completely cloudy or covered, like canopy rain for us. So we've had no solar put input. So it's purely um, recharged from driving. Yeah, it got up to about 95%. I think while we we're driving. Um, and then the fridge, two fridges and stuff have drained it down to like 91 in the last and we'll hour continue or so. Driving and stuff, yeah. 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 So yeah, just thought I'd show you that. Um, but yeah, we pretty much, and we're charging like GoPros phones, and phones and drones. tablets and drones and cameras and all of that stuff as well, watches and <laughs> like we're charging all of that yeah, stuff. Um, and we're still cooking yeah, off grid as well. <laughs> so uh, everything's electric and we've got the power to do so. So yeah, it's really good. I think that's it. Oh, I should probably show you a bit more. Oh, Daniel, have you already showed like, like the lights and stuff? So we've got like orange lights for bugs and stuff. Um, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know what they do. They're engraved. Yeah, I know. Oh. <laughs> um, and they're dimmable as well. Um, that one? Other one. like videoing it before you know how to use it. Oh, dimmed last night. There we go, it's dimming. It's dimmed. Now we're dimmed. So it's only a little bit of light, so we're not distracting others. Um, back up again so I can see. Yeah, and you can turn lights and stuff on here and blah blah blah. <laughs> As you can't see. Anyway, that's us. Good morning. Hey, how's it going? We are to a bungalow. Oh, not yet. Not yet. This afternoon. Um, we are, yes. Um, so we are at... Um, left Central Station. We have left Central Station and we are on our way to Lake Mackenzie for the second time because it is currently sunshiny with a bit of cloud. And as you know, we do photography. And yesterday's conditions were not um, conducive to the photography that we wanted. So we are, don't mind me bouncing around here, but um, so we are taking an attempt number two with conditions today looking much better. So um, from there, we will head to Happy Valley um, area where we'll stay in a bungalow type thing tonight. And 
hoping to go Eli Creek and Mahino Wreck and things like that as well. So different adventures today um, and hopefully the weather does its thing and we can um, get our captures that we are after for today. I'm going swimming naked. Are you going to go swimming <laughs> naked? I think we'll put swimmers on you today. <laughs> Lake Mackenzie putting it on for us. The sun has come out for us to enjoy this amazing, amazing place. Aria, oh, yeah, come with me. Come over here. I'm going to show you something. And these, this water, like I just don't understand how it happens. <laughs> like how? How is this so, so blue? Come and show me. What is it, Daniel? Soft sand. Oh, <laughs> jeez. <laughs> 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 Made it to you wrong. And um, first stop is the bakery. <laughs> We've heard good things, so we'll give it a whirl for lunch. Yeah. I think. These are the oh, remains oh, of oh, our. Oh, oh, oh. You just stand there. <laughs> These are the remains of our uh, bakery pies. Got a pepper. It's good and peppery.
made it to Eli Creek. And there's another dingo friend here. Where are we headed, Amanda? Yeah. Aria, does this look like fun? I'm just wandering down Eli Creek with a cider while the girls float. <laughs> Whoa! That got a bit deep. <laughs> I said it gets deep. Oh, got the tackle. We just stopped in at the Mahino Wreck. We are here um, aiming for sunset tonight as well. So hopefully um, the few clouds in the sky light up nicely or something happens and we can get something special. Hello. The ship is crashed into the island. So we came here and we, you can see I was so far away, okay? It's a bit cold. We're uh, waiting at the wreck of the Mahino for sunset. We got here a bit early to scout it out and uh, yeah, just waiting. Check it out behind me. I've got my composition sorted out. We're just hoping that these clouds behind us light up. That should be a pretty cool photo. We'll see. 
So here's Danielle capturing and to try and hold out the water from moving the tripod, we've made a double moat. It was a team effort, family affair, to try and uh, protect the tripod. Coming up in part two of Fraser next week. Watch Amanda get us bogged in soft sand. We explore further visiting Champagne Pools and Postman's Cap. We camp beachside and find out if we make it through Nagala Rocks unscathed. See you then. Mm -hmm.